Okay, hello and welcome once again uh, to another demo or a continuation of a demo. So uh, in the previous video, I made a templated web server using ZX uh, that just made a cowboy project that basically does nothing. If we run it right now, uh, we will see that, so this is from the previous demo, still up though, uh, or it's still, I just restarted it, right? Still there. Um, it just counts hits, how many hits we hit this page, yeah, or how many times we, we hit this page. Um, and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and stop. Now, let's say that I want to take this project and I want to make it talk to the Eternity blockchain. How would I do that? Um, well, there's a library called Vanilla uh, in Erlang that has all the connectors necessary and the um, all the dependencies necessary to talk to um, the Eternity blockchain. So we're going to get a description of it right now. Vanilla with the A, you know, the Eternity AE thing. Okay, so it's an airline, yeah, whatever. All right, so um, we need to list its dependencies. Remember, you have to have a fully qualified uh, package name or it won't know which which set of depths you want. Um, so I'm going to cheat and I'm going to do 4F in DX list apps with PR vanilla. Yeah. Um, that. Yeah, okay, and then do uh, dx set dap, ooh, not derp, <laughs> um, dap, yeah, okay, and then done. Dx set dap, yeah, okay, this should work, should, do, 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 yeah, yeah, so, um, it is just looping over those dependencies and setting them up, uh, it is checking with the Zomp network to make sure that they're, like, you know, not crazy, um, and then finally, I need to add that dependency itself, so zx set yeah, let's be our vanilla. Uh, yeah, okay. So now we're going to add vanilla itself, and that's it. Now we're ready to go. Um, we're going to going to go into source. Uh, if you watched the previous video, you know this project layout already. There's a stateful process here, uh, but all we want to do, the attorney blockchain is its own state keeper. So we don't need to add state to this to query the chain. We'll just query the chain. Um, and just ask the status of the chain and get it back. I do have. Uh, a testnet node running in my network right now. Uh, and so I'm gonna assign that to the vanilla backend thingy and we'll we'll query it and see what happens. Um, so what I need to do is make a change to top. Uh, oh, you know what? First I have to start vanilla, which I'm not doing right now. So we're gonna start over here first, um, right there. So we want to application ensure started vanilla and then we want to call vanilla now that it's alive and tell it where our ae nodes are and i've got one node and it is at 192.168.77 and it's listing on port 3013 3013 okay and that should be good so now i'm going to go to aw to top and i'm going to ask it Okay, it's going to dispatch a query to there, and I want that um, as a JSON string that I can put in text here. Uh, so I'm just going to use ZJ, which is, that's a dependency of vanilla, so it's already in. It, ZJ is the uh, um, the really, really simple, uh, or as simple as possible, um, without being crazy, uh, JSON encoder decoder for airline. Um, so we're going to do J, ZJ encode status. So um, status returns a map, and we're going to make it a text thing and we're going to add it to this um let's give ourselves a space uh cowboy thankfully lets us do io lists as the body so we're just going to dump it that's a string right now but it, we're allowed to do this so it's, it's going to be fine and to demonstrate that i'm going to live uh, i'm also going to show the map uh, we're just going to pre-print the map itself. Whoa! <laughs> Went somewhere else. Um, pre-print the map uh, also with this. So we're going to get the map formatted as that. And then I'm going to be polite myself in case you want to copy this code and um, run curl at it. Okay. Typos aside, <laughs> this should work. Um, ZXH local. 
If there is a typo, I will find out in just a second. Oh, yeah, okay, so all the vanilla dependencies have to get pulled in, which is, um, there's a few. What we should see, if I didn't mess anything up, we will see, oh, no, look, text string. Oh, my goodness, I put text string instead of text status. Did you see that? My goodness. That is just silly. Um, so, <laughs> AOT top. Um, that's just me being a silly goose. Okay. Should just build the one module. Yep. Okay. Now we're up. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, okay. So this is what we were showing. We should have, look at that. All this blockchain stuff. So the single unbroken JSON line is this thing. Um, this is the format of the map that was converted to this by ZJ. Um, so this is what you're inside of Airline. This is what you can be dealing with. This is a map that's got these key, you know, the typical like attorney blockchain uh, static keys and so on. So um, that's it. Like this is it. So from here, whatever kind of uh, like if you want to make a cool e-commerce site, like you know, the um, well, it's running here let's see seven six yeah that's it so if you want to make like an e-commerce site like this that's based on um you know you know attorney blockchain you want to do this kind of thing um you can do that uh if you want to make a web utility that does blockchain stuff you do whatever you want to do this is how you get started and that if you go from nothing to zx create project make a cowboy thing and then add the vanilla dependencies and run it you're already you're already set up to to start making a web utility. So uh, it's it's a blockchain project. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you next time.